Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 27 of Rockhold, the Gift of Shadow. So, today is a war episode. We're going to do our best to finally destroy the goblin pits south of us. Well, we've done, so far, a pretty decent job, but the goblins just didn't die so far. Between that, we are making excellent progress with the final levels of the castle. So, as you can see here, our towers are seen in completion, the parapet is almost done. I have stopped producing insane amounts of uh, blocks at this point because there seems to be an end in sight. And yeah, it's altogether really brilliant news for Rockhold. So, today I want to start working on this uh, tower structure here. So that's gonna be one thing. And of course, like I said, we wanna get rid of the goblin pits there. Let's see how well that'll work. There's still a lot of commotion and a lot of uh, hectic business going on in Rockhold as we are only very slowly seeing the completion of this project. But we are getting there and that are those are really really some good news huh, look at that we actually managed to set up some openings there okay so we obviously need to put the floor stone blocks down there yet again especially these here are the ones that lead outside of the fort are extremely important this one would lead into the pastures it's also pretty nasty well I love to see that the fort itself is making such such wonderful progress. We're going to work a little bit as well on the beautification of this place along these lines. I have started building some altars in the previous episode. So let's see where we're going to get from there. So... Oh, yes, I missed a door here. All right, so if I'd be training some crossbow dwarfs, we would be able to make some really, really good fighting area, uh, fighting ground here, but I, I really don't want to. I don't know. I never felt any bigger satisfaction with the crossbow dwarfs in, in the current iteration of the game. And well, let's just say once they got reworked, I am surely giving them a shot again, pun intended, but uh, currently, well, I don't like too much what's going on with these, I'm sure you understand. So, we're going to complete our towers now with walls all around them. Because proper castle wall, um, castle towers, they always have some sort of a parapet going on around themselves. And that's what we're going to emulate with a couple of fortifications on top of these. So, these are basically the final strokes this is this is this is the finishing line of of the outer walls these last pieces of jured walls that's where this castle's uh, completed wonderful and what a journey what a journey so let's just hope that today our soldiers will be a little bit more successful than the previous episode and let's start working on this. So I figured that this tower, it would be totally okay if we'd be bringing up some different material for that. So let's work it out with slate. I know this will make the bottom area look a little bit motley, but uh, whatever bottom level is not the top shelf, uh, top shelf level. So we're going to start working on the outsides now. I've been looking forward to this. So the basic plan will be quite simple. We will keep up a uh, stairwell here in this area, which is uh, basically the gatehouse. And we're going to continue making nifty little things behind that. So I really hope it'll work out like that. I'm not sure if it does. So we are gonna be needing some stairs now. So these will be leading up. 
Let's give them a nice pattern. All right, there we go. So that's the beginning. Let's give those a little bit of a priority. All right. Love to see that over time now things get tidied up here. So our oh Eden is back from the place or where did she never leave and that's why the task is stuck. We'll see about that. I've had that once. That a squad was not able to fulfill their task until people were were back in business. Wait a sec, Eden is back to tavern keeping. Oh boy, so obviously Eden should never be there. So let's set up Zuthan, the potash maker. He's an excellent comedian. That should be that should be just what we're needing. All right. I'm living in constant fear of a bogged out uh, patrol. I've had that once in my previous warfare fortress, and yeah, still scared that this might happen here as well. All right. There's so many critter remains here. I hate the fact that we're somehow not removing them. Ah, here we go. You see, no special orders anymore. So now Eden can be put back into the uh, into the squad here. For some reason, Eden bugged out. Who knows why? Let's see what they managed to do. Ha! Profane cults is no war. We destroyed this filthy pit after our fourth attack. Finally, all of the remains are gone. So we destroyed the site. The spiders of rhyme fled profane cult. So we finally destroyed the local government. And that's where we that's where we can rejoice about our first big triumph. Because that means we we took them out of business, friends. I love this. So, we have fulfilled our, our, the first step of war task. Ain't that lovely? Personally, very, very happy about that. So, I'll give them until the month of Slate is over to celebrate their victory, to be rejoicing what's happening. Ah, oh, love that the tavern music is just popping up in the background. What a fitting moment. And, you know... Give them a moment to re to to be happy about what they just accomplished. But uh, the next assignment is just around the corner, because that will be the moment when we're finally done with this whole filthy business. So speaking about filthy business, we do we need to to do more, or are you guys? Yeah, well, all right. I think they are behind it, but more behind the siltstone, less behind the chert. Well, whatever. So good, friends. It's time to set over to Wear Creature. What a uh, what a scary name. I really hope it's uh, not going to live up to its name. All right. So on the first of Felsite, they set off just like I announced there. The whole squad yet again. Oh. Alright. So we are halfway done when it comes down to the Annihilation quests. I mean, for this specific playthrough, I, I didn't really set up much here. I didn't really anticipate much either. The doctor is fighting. So I wonder what fell uh, from the from the roof there on him. Well, so we're going to remove this wall now here. 
because this is going to be the basement of the tower now. So, let's see. Nish and Eden are still not there. So, let's see what is Nish doing. Nish is sleeping. I think this is uh, going to take just the time it takes. And Eden is on her way. She's just uh, happening to travel very, very slowly. I wonder why. Well, hard to tell. Probably too heavily geared up, I don't know. Well. So, a web-spitting beast has arrived in the caverns, Themita. I'm very happy that we're not uh, hanging out down here, because that would be really one, again, one hell of a fight. The moment that the Banner of Shadow wants to overtake the caverns of this continent, that will be a really, really difficult task. I'm really looking forward to that one. So, well, we're going to be seeing what we're doing with that. So, here goes the, the extra flooring. Oh, it's, it's making me too happy. And here they're finishing this part of the castle. And the roof blocks, uh, the roofs of the of the towers are seeing completion here too. Sweet. All right. There's obviously a lot of business, and I think Forgotten Beasts just uh, deuced it out see who who was victorious as far as I can see now Themita was killing off Nuklush Moth Secret she's now known as Themita Throne Noble he's also seriously injured but uh, that's only a matter of time gosh darn web spitters hate those things they are among the worst creatures that could ever come around well Luckily, we got the cavern sealed off tight, so none of these nightmares can befall our fine, fine city. Well, the whole Cobalt Acts are finally on the road. Really hope that they're going to take down the goblin pits of wet creature faster than, than we were with the previous one. Because enough attacks. So let's see, the brass altars or the altars in general have been have been beautified with a bit of uh, gemstone here the thing is this this fort does not have a big variety on gemstone we almost found no bigger diversity here it's all opals i mean opals are really really nice don't get me wrong they're beautiful but uh it's also a very, very sameish thing going down here. Anyways. So. We don't see the center tower being worked on too much here. But that's mostly because the castle walls are still under, under construction. And the cobalt acts have returned. So, let's check the map. Well, sadly, where creature is still standing, but, uh, well, they went down from roughly 70 people to down roughly 10. So I'd say our attack did do something. So let's see. We struck down one goblin here. We struck down another goblin and another goblin and another goblin. So Nish took down a couple of them. Gorax took down a couple of them. So all together we did do well. We also captured an iron toy axe. <laughs> Why not? So, no casualties on our side. That's always very, very lovely to see. And let's give our heroes a warm welcome. But, uh, only for a short moment, we're going to continue fighting the goblins relentlessly. I mean, this is the point where we're almost, uh, where we almost got them. Alright. So, friends, you're all back there. 
don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, get too comfy here. Or your orders were to raise this place. As far as our scouts are telling us, it's still there, so. Try harder, Eurist. Try harder. Hit harder. Back again. They will be properly celebrated, and I think it's uh, definitely... We're definitely going to bring up a couple of statues and all, but uh, uh, only after it, after they done their part, yeah, right? Alright, so the words are finally being installed in the towers. But uh, altogether, it is so noticeable the moment I stop issuing these endless block construction jobs, the whole construction business here is going down so endlessly much slower. Well, well. Maybe I am just an impatient person. That could be also the case. But I... don't care about that. So, well. Since only the inner... a section of the inner castle walls are, are necessary to get done, I am not going to be too harsh on that say do we have that linked yes we do brilliant wherever i have my doubts i've been somehow ahead of myself already quite happy to see that all right there will be a point in the far-fetched future hopefully not so far-fetched where we have built all the necessary stone blocks that we have ordered especially the siltstone ones but, well, we'll see how far, how, how long that will take us. So, let's order some Trinocide. So, we're going to chop down everything alongside of this uh, corridor here. So we can build the road to the northern uh, areas of the world. North, that is our old home, Gleam Mirrors. Also, the road to the goblins up there. They can consider themselves happy that we're not hell-bent on reconquering this yet. Roleplay-wise, our king insists on rebuilding our culture before we wage war on the goblins large scale. But I consider this as something that we do for our human friends as a sign of good, of good neighborship. I think there might be a future for it where we're taking down the Silky Confederation altogether, but currently we're not breaking down another war. Or should we? Maybe we should wage another war. Hmm. I mean, this would result in more goblins coming on down uh, town here, which results in more metal for me to process. You know, there is... There is something that uh, we can't deny is useful about that. So there's literally creature remains all over the place. This is fairly disgusting. So Eden is again the last to to go. So for some reason Eden is very very slow. She is the slowest dwarf that we got. She's also a pretty decent fighter, but uh, tell you what we're going to do, Eden you will be receiving your own squad. Huh? How about that? I think that is just a, just the right thing. Cannot appoint until commander selected. Ah, yeah, right. Eden is... Uh, Nish is right now not in town, so Nish can't announce somebody new. Not great. That, that pretty much makes sense. All right. Oh, I just noticed why nothing gets done here. Because there is another gap of open space here. That's why. Alright, so people are going down there now much, much faster. Obviously. Ah, look at it now go. That's been the problem. Alright. So the remaining church walls that we need to put up will be put up over the course of the next time. And then we're going to carve in some fortifications in between the episodes. But I must say, the sky blueprint here looks really cool. I I love that very, very much. 
Okay, Tower of Rick Slate incoming. I like that. The Crystals of Standing. What a weird name. But squad names in Dwarf Fortress, they just be like that. All right, and my comfy little castle. And they have returned. So sadly, yeah, where creature still ain't uh, destroyed yet. So well, not too surprised about that. It's uh, often like that. We looted something, but uh, they the goblins didn't give up their uh, their location yet. Too bad. But at least Nish is back in town, so Eden can be announced the new squad captain of the Crystals of Standing. So we're going to have to build a new barracks for these, but I personally think this is going to be a really cool step forward. We will use this new squadron for all manner of different tasks, obviously. It'll be a small defense squad. I think a total of four. So it'll be the people that stay here when the Cobalt Acts go raiding. It's at least the plan. Okay, speaking about the Cobalt Acts raiding, my dudes, you have a job. And that is destroying this place. So go forth and destroy this place, my dear friends. Because I see it's still hanging out on the map and I don't like that. So, here we go. This tower will... Let's see. I haven't fully figured out... Let's just... How high and... Uh, with which items... I How high I'll build the tower and which things will be inside. The only thing I do know is I want it to be... At least one story higher than this one. That would be that would be the very least. So we'll see what I'll be putting in there. For now, we're just going to make the the outer shapes, and what we're going to fill the gaps with, we're going to see. I do realize slowly that this is probably a fort where it would be. It seems to be wise to import gemstone, generally. Because we, we obviously are so darn low on gemstone, chronically. It's one thing that I do notice there. So I could request that from my mountain home friends. Just as a uh, train of thought that crossed my mind now. Because I really do see that whatever we're decorating is not worth too much. The other option would be to make uh, probably glass and stone gemstones that we use to encrust the items with as well. That also is a really nice and effective way of, uh, of making items more valuable. So all these animal remains, who's actually killing them all, I wonder? We don't have any battle locks. What are they die? What is the reason for their for their death? I wonder. So, ah, the other axe lord is still sleeping. Yeah, it is just like that. If you send your soldiers again and again and again, you will notice that there's always one person on the squad slowing down the rest of the squad. You easily can just uh, take them out of the squad like I did it with Eden, but uh, yeah, the other option is just to wait it out. All right, so yeah, yeah, almost done, almost done. So. That should be finally the last one I need to order. Wall, I mean. Alright. So... Fancy staircases, of course.
And then let's see how we're going to play this out. I mean, I should... I could be building all the stairwells already, right? So that we, in theory at least, have already the outlining of the tower complete. So, and that should be then... Oh, whoopsie, that's wrong. That should be then the last layer for now. Probably I'll make the, the tower narrower when we get closer to the top. I'll, I don't know yet. We're going to see. Alright. Let's hope that the goblins of where creature are finally carved down by this final attack of ours. I really am tired of raiding empty sites. It's a little bit sad that this is a, such a weird interaction going on there. But, uh, well, you can't skip it either. You have to live through it. Full experience needed, you see. So, let's check back with my stockpiles. So, ah, well, we are being attacked. Let's pause the game immediately. So, what are we going to do? We are going to check out what happens if we seal ourselves entirely in. That's what I'm going to try. I really wanted to know that since a while anyways, so let's see. Let's hope somebody is going to get there. Ah, the Cobalt Acts are returning, so it's going to be a slaughter. It will be a slaughter. So, yeah, let's see. How fast will be that? Good, good. So, good news first. The bridges were raised long before the, the dwarves, um, long before the goblins uh, were, were closing in on our dwarves. And the even better news were that our military was just around the corner to intercept the attackers. I mean, this is basically a really horrible surprise for the goblin attackers being caught out like that. So we're going to open the, the entrances yet again because I'm pretty sure that there will be... There will be not much opposition left there, right? So, goblins thought themselves quite smart with that move, but uh, yeah, we saw how that played out for them. So, there we go. Entrances are back open. I really wonder why our soldiers go that way. So, I'll be following them. So, why are you going that way to Eatnish? I mean, the only reason that I could make up with would be that this locate that this path was uh, was open first, and that's why Nish went that way. That is uh, very very odd. Whatever, I really really don't mind, and I don't care. What I do care about is that these fine young gentlemen brought us another delivery of combat uh, worthy metals. Sadly, the... yeah. I really don't know why that uh, is even possible, that you can get in there and then there is uh, absolutely nothing happening and the site still doesn't get destroyed. I think this is happening when the... Uh, when the enemy... when there is one last enemy who's really, really good at hiding. That's what I personally assume always is going on there. I don't know. Let me know if you know. So, dear good friends of Dwarfing, we have had a good amount of fun, but sadly it is time to find an end for today. So, my good friends, I hope you enjoyed the show. I certainly did. I'm really happy to see that the safety measures kick into gear fast enough. 
even if the attackers come from the northern side, we had this place locked up so fast, the goblins had not much chance to get into a dangerous uh, range, into danger range there. So it shows me that our plans are working out exactly as we want them to. Stuff is being defended decently nice. So see you all on the next episode. I really would be quite happy about a comment down there below. Leave me a thumbs up on the video. Consider subscribing. All of these things help tremendously. You will also find in the description box down below a couple of links. You can find the video series to Sandwalls and all the other Dwarf Fortress Let's Play thingies I did. And you can also find the links to my Discord, to my Twitch channel, and Last but not least, there's also the support links. That's Patreon, Paypal, Buy Me a Coffee, or channel membership via YouTube. Whatever tickles your fancy, I'd be more than happy if you'd be supporting. And most importantly, I want to say a big thanks to everybody supporting Icon Gaming. Deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate you folks. And of course, I want to thank you, especially you watching this video right here, right now because you seriously am, you're seriously watching this entire video all through, and I really, really appreciate it. So, see you all on the next one, and I hope we're going to see this castle's completion rather soon, because, you know, this is cool and all, but I can't wait to build the next one. See you there. Bye-bye.